thank you for joining my tutorials today we'll see how to prepare ndvi map using landsat a data and sentinel 2a data and we'll see the difference between both the images so first what first we'll see what is ndvi actually ndvi is a dimensional list index that describe the difference between the visible and near infrared reflectance of vegetation cover and can be used to estimate the density of a green on an area of a land so this is the ndvi formula nir minus rate divided by nir plus rate so what is the nir, NIR means this is the reflection in the near infrared spectrum and this is the red band so these two bands we need to use to prepare our ndvi map and this is the band for the uh, this is the band ratio sorry this is the band for the landsat 8 data set so here you can able to see there are actually 11 bands are there and from that we require this nir band and red band okay so band number 5 and band number 4 from this landsat 8 data set we require and from the sentinel 2a data set so we require this nir means band number 8 that is a 10 meter resolution and a band number 4 that is also 10 meter resolution so we'll use this higher resolution data and we'll also use this 30 meter data so this is the 30 meter data having a landsat and 10 meter is having a sentinel data so we'll use both the data and we'll see the difference so i have downloaded this landsat data set from the uhs earth explorer so how to download the data we can uh, see our previous videos so in that you can able to see the landsat 8 data and in that landsat 8 data set we have actually 11 bands but from that we require band number 4 and band number 5 to prepare our to prepare our ndvi map so similar way we have data set for this sentinel 2a so here also we have data set okay so here also we have band number uh, 8 okay this band number 8 and band number 4 we are going to use so first we'll prepare from the landsat data set so let i will go to the data set So NDVI and this is the Landsat 8 data. LC8 stands for Landsat 8. Okay. So band number 5. And this is the band number 4. Okay. I have two images. This is the band number 5 and band number 4. So band number 5 is our NIR and this is band number 4 is our red. So we'll go to the R toolbox. Uh, this Landsat data set is atmospherically corrected. So if you want to do atmospheric correction, we can, uh, you can also do, uh, but here this is already atmospherically corrected. So I will use direct formula here. So we'll go to the spatial analysis tool and map algebra and raster calculator. So in the raster calculator, I will use float here, float. So here is the float. So the formula as we have discussed here, okay. So NIR minus rate divided by NIR plus rate. So this formula we're going to use. So float after that, this band number five. So band number five minus band number four, again divided by take float band number five plus band number four and i will provide so let me save this in a one folder so here i will save as a ndvi from the landsat data set and just click on i will add dot tiff and i will save and i will click on ok so i am preparing this from the Landsat 8 data set. Similar way we'll prepare from Sentinel data set. So here if you'll see the range of NDVI is minus one to plus one. So higher the value of NDVI means positive value of NDVI referring the healthy and dense vegetation where the negative value or lower NDVI value shows the less vegetation. So this we'll see here. So the NDVI is ready. So just right click, go to properties. So I will use color band here. 
so where there is a this reddish color so this area is having a highest vegetation area okay this area is having highest vegetation we can also check by using the base map we can add the imagery here So let I will uncheck this. So now if, if I'll uncheck this, you can able to see in the Google also, this area is showing highest vegetation. This area is indicating highest vegetation. So where there is a lower value is indicating that water is there. This color indicating water, this color indicating, this green color indicating the water is there. So this way we can able to prepare the NDVI map from Landsat data. So similar way we'll prepare from Sentinel data and the Sentinel data will be having a higher resolution as compared to this. So I'll go to this, then this granule and uh, this is image data. So band number eight. just with band number eight and band number four so band number eight and band number four we are going to use here here if you'll see this in the sentinel data band number four is red and band number eight is uh, band number eight is nir so just i'll go to raster calculator i will use float so this is band number eight NIR minus red divided by again float NIR plus red. So NDVI Sentinel, I will add here. So just click on save and just click on OK. So NDVI is ready, just right click, properties, just go to classified or stretch, just change color from here, apply and okay. So now what happened to NDVI? Okay, so now if you'll see, from this NDVI, we are getting the same result as we are getting from Landsat. But the thing is that this is little bit higher resolution. If I'll zoom it here, okay. So any particular places, if I'll zoom it here. So if you'll see in the Landsat data set, you can able to see pixel pixels here. And if you'll check here, so you can see little bit higher resolution this sentinel data. So this way you can able to see the changes because when you will see here and uh, you can see the difference in 30 meter and 10 meter resolution. Here also you can able to check in the properties, the sentinel image is having 10 meter resolution and the Landsat data is having here also you can able to see this is the 30 meter. So it is better uh, Sentinel data is a much higher resolution as compared to this Landsat data set. So this way you can able to prepare NDVI map. So these values are not showing a similar, uh, 
similar result, result because they are not having the same date they are having some different date and because of that these changes are showing in the value and they are not having the same extent also okay the extent of both the images are not same so that's why we are seeing these changes here so this way we can able to prepare our land use uh, this way we can able to prepare our ndvm app very easily so if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section or also you can mail us thank you